Welcome back to Frog Compost Band with our Yeek Yellow Mage. Last time we finished off Castle and then we did a few more quests and ended up getting this wizard's this wizard staff to replace our other one. And then we ended up going down into Angband and reading our scrolls of requirement. And we ended up getting book four for Armageddon from that. And we're gonna carry around that instead of book two. From book two we were pretty much just getting Rocket, uh, but Mana Bowl is a better pure damage spell than Rocket is. And today I think I kind of want to get a better stat stick than this bow staff we're carrying. And the Guardian of Graveyard, this dungeon here, is guaranteed to drop Soul Sword, which is a pretty decent stat stick, especially for mages. So I think I'll see if we can go kill her today. Do a quick check of all the shops. And maybe while I'm here, maybe I could do... I'm trying to remember what's in this quest. I think I might want another resistance for this quest and maybe it's better to hold off on doing it until after I've done Graveyard. Yeah. Ah, uh, we need to buy heroism as well. Um, in fact, while we're here, I think we can do Dragon Quest. Before I do that, I'll drop off some stuff because you tend to get quite a lot of loot from Dragon Quest and I want to have room. Uh, if we need more room, we can just drop books or mushrooms or whatever. Actually, I don't think I'll need these inside of a quest level because they don't work. Um, maybe it's... I'm trying to remember if Mana Bowl destroys things on the ground. It might be best to use that in this quest because if I use Plasma Breath, I can destroy a bunch of the loot. Let me make a, what was that again? MDC. Let me make a macro for that. Let's see how this works out. I think it is destroying loot. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, hang on. What's going on there? Oh, uh, I dropped the wrong book. I thought I was carrying book three. I must have dropped off book three by accident and kept book two. Uh, so I guess we will just mana bowl everything and screw the loot. It is a bit of a shame that I'm destroying everything, but 
it shouldn't really matter too much in the long run. I think that's the quest finished, yep. We'll pick that up, artifact, metal brigandine armor. Uh, I don't know if that's better than what we currently have. This has base, poison sound, disenchantment, and that had base except for fire, confusion, nether sound. That might be worth wearing for graveyard because of the nether resistance. But I think our current armor is probably better in general. Alright, so that was a bit stupid of me not having um, book three. Let's rectify that immediately and drop off book two. Now, did I not have my macro saved or something? MDC. Ah, maybe I replaced it last time and forgot about it. But yeah, there we go, there's Plasma Breath back. And the reward for that quest is Dragon Wings, which is um, just pretty much a cloak with a random resistance on it already. So again, those dragon armors are good for reforging onto. Uh, let's pick back up scrolls of teleport level. And what else? I think we're good. And make our way over to Actually, should I drop this off or should I wear this? Make our way to graveyard once I've sorted out my inventory. I guess I'll just keep it as um, a swap, that armor. And if I need nether resistance, I can use it. Um, but before I do that, let me finish checking the towns. Where are we up to in arena as well? Uh, Iron Lich. Probably still don't want to mess with him. We'll buy the... Oh, we, we can't. I was going to say we could buy the Potion of Con, but we're too poor. So let's just go to Graveyard. I do have telepathy, yeah, so I don't need to cast it anymore. And I think in this dungeon we'll just dive. Because I'm mainly just interested in killing the dungeon guardian and getting her artifact. I keep on forgetting that I actually do have book three sorcery, so I can just make my own stairs. Looks like there's kind of a little vault over here, and something in here might be worth checking out.
Uh, I might want to check out this ring. I'm not sure if I can teleport inside the vault. Nope. Ring of speed, but the current one is better, so let's drop that. And that ring wasn't worth it. All right, let's go back to these stairs. And we probably want to check out that shop as well, to the left of us. Nothing really in here. Okay. Another vault up there, but I think we will just continue diving, doesn't look like there's much in there. This is quite late to be seeing an orc unique. Uh, did not mean to do that. Okay, Vecna, the Emperor Lich, and looks like we've also got the King in Yellow, who's another Undead Unique. Um, we could probably kill him if there's nothing else around. Doesn't look like he actually has any Nether spells, so we won't need to swap our armor. Uh, Vecna's like right there though, and she has sometimes with her these Black Reavers who can destroy walls. So maybe what I want to do is just destruct over here and get rid of her for the moment. Oh wait, did I get the, the king yellow as well? I think I did. Yeah. Oh well. Let's just reset the level. About this guy, this girl. I uh, probably could kill her, I think. We can give it a shot. Ah, it's awake already. Oh wait, is it immune to stun or is that just resisting? Okay. Okay, got it. 
cap with resist base element. Um, current cap is giving us telepathy, darkness, blindness, and two intelligence. We'll pick it up, but I doubt we'll wear it. We're never going to use that. Let's just leave it. Uh, this is pretty good, actually. This has resist nether on it, which we want. Four con, which is really nice for a mage. Free action, sound, and chaos. I wonder if the four con from this will be worth more than the plus life from Soul Sword. This might be better than the artifact I actually came into this dungeon to get. Let's draw. What can we drop? Let's drop the mushrooms and go back home and sort out some stuff. So let's see. Nexus disenchantment. And that also gives us free action. So we wouldn't actually be, we were already at three free action though. So we would lose Nexus and disenchantment. We would gain, uh, we would gain Nether Sound Chaos and Four Con. The immunity to Acid obviously doesn't matter because we're a Yeek, we get that already. I think I'll keep the, well, maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure. Let's actually wear this and see. That's not too much more health. We do get about 50 SP because this bow staff is weighing us down. Oh wait, hang on. I think I just took off the wizard stuff. Right. 364. 389. So we're missing Nexus, which is not that big a deal really. We do still have Disenchantment, so wait, what were we getting from this? Nexus Disenchantment, we must have Disenchantment from something else, from our armor. Uh, I think this is better than, you don't often run into monsters that do large amounts of Nexus damage, and if we do, we can just avoid them. So I think I'll put away our bow stuff and we'll use that shield instead. We won't need to carry that around as a nether swap because we now have nether resistance from the shield. Uh, I will still see if we can finish graveyard to get that artifact because maybe it is still better than um, the shield. Right after me saying that we never run into Nexus monsters. This guy's friendly, so we can just leave him be. And let's see, I don't think we no, we don't have the dungeon guardian site yet. I don't want to teleport around on this level in case I run into her. That's a good mana battery to carry around. Let's pick that up. And even aside from that, Tsunami is a pretty good damage wand, although not really useful for us in, as we already have Plasma Breath. The main reason you'd want to use Tsunami is for um, the chance of stunning. Looks like she's probably on the right side of the level. What the 
hell was that? Flying Spaghetti Monster, ah, uh, Nexus 250 of course. Let's just destruct. We are at the bottom right, or am I crazy? I think we are at the bottom. How come the level feeling is not special? Usually when you're at the bottom, the level feeling is special to indicate that the Dungeon Guardian is on the level as well. open space but I think I just tried to teleport into rock. That's why I didn't have potions of heroism. I have that rudder for rock speed now. I forgot about that. So I don't need to carry heroism. Uh, this is actually handy for our current situation. This has um, list uniques as its ability, so I can quickly just use this. Okay, so Vecna is on the level somewhere. Wow, that's a lot. Plus five extra attacks. Not useful for us, but interesting. Uh, let's drop the heroism, because I don't need it. Let's see if we can track down Vecna. This guy is vulnerable to cold, um, so let's breathe frost on him. Looks like she did come with another Black Reaver, which I want to get rid of if I can, but aside from that, I mean that's pretty much it. Hopefully the Black Reaver will come towards us like it is, and because it just comes in a straight line, it'll leave Vecna behind and we can destruct him. Okay, got rid of him. Vecna is still around. Good. Uh, so I guess, where is she? The thing to be careful of, oh, it's actually a man, okay. The thing to be careful of with this guy is summoning other undead. He doesn't resist plasma or stunning though, so we should be able to hopefully plasma wreath him and stun him enough that he never manages to cast anything. He also has um, mana storm for 393, which is pretty scary because he is faster than us and that's almost our entire health pool. As a yellow mage, we should be outspeeding him because our energy cost for casting is lower. But we want to be pretty careful.
So like here, I want to be casting to detect monsters to make sure he doesn't double move me. Okay, now I can hit him with Wreath Plasma. He summoned King in Yellow, who is immune to teleportation. Ah, uh, that's bad. Is Vecna immune to teleportation? He is. How far away is he? Range 8. I think, um... If I go... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If I go here and I... Wait, which way do you step? Okay, yeah, the King in Yellow is close. If I destruct, hopefully I can catch the King in Yellow, but not Vecna. Ah, I'm out of charges. My plan would have worked though, if that destruction had got him. So maybe what I should do is, if I go far enough away, will Vecna stay behind? Maybe. Looks like that's what's happening. Maybe I can take out the King in Yellow, so that Vecna can't summon him next time. Okay, got him. He pushed us up to the next level. Alright, so we should be able to see if we can take on Vecna now. I think we can just get rid of that Master Leech. He's resistant to teleportation, but not immune. We should be able to get rid of him. Like that. Want to get rid of the Iron Lich. Crypt thing I don't care as much about. Oops. Oh, it was meant to be a Plasma Breath. Um, before I haste, I'm going to phase out of line of sight, just to make sure no double move funkiness happens. I should be um, using heroic speed for the heroism as well. doing too badly but unlike some of the other dangerous monsters we've been fighting um, in particular dragons and stuff like that Vecna is still just as dangerous at low health as he is at high health because unlike breath attacks the damage from spells aren't affected by his current health let's um, eat some magic and get some mana back It's a bit annoying, but no biggie. I think um, that Draco Lich resists teleportation. This guy doesn't know, I'm pretty sure. I want to get the Draco Lich by himself. There we go. Okay, we got him. And we're pretty close to the next con point, so let's get that. Sixty seven SP on that rod of great clarity. It's only got two charges. 
Um, our current clarity has seven, which is what, 105? I guess a great clarity is better. So we, we can drop our regular clarity at one. Let's drop the other tsunami and just pick up that because it has more mana. And here's the artifact I wanted, Soul Sword. So plus three to int and wisdom, plus 9% to life multiplier. And it has resist, nether, nexus, chaos, and disenchantment. Um, but then we did end up finding that nice shield with plus four con on it. So I'm not sure which was better for our health, plus 9% to life multiply or plus four to con. I guess we'll find out if I wear that. I have 473 at the moment. 477, okay. So it looks like um, the sword is slightly better. Let's drop heroism and pick that shield back up and go back home. Right, so now our resistances are, we're covering everything. Ideally, we'd be double resisting shards, but I mean, one is enough to get by. If we had double shards resistance, I'd say that our resistances were good enough for end game. Oh, hang on, we're, we're missing free action now. Ooh, I guess that makes the shield better, unless we get another source of free action on something. Um, if we found boots with free action or a helm with free action, or a shooter. I don't know. I kind of want to keep the soul sword on because it covers our resistances so well. If I have a helm with free action, I can swap that out and just go back to casting telepathy all the time. Don't think I do have a helm with free action. Okay, so I think I am going to have to go back to the shield because I can't afford to be walking around with only two sources of free action. Uh, but hopefully we find something in the future that lets me swap back to using Soul Sword. Alright, so how are we looking now? Three free action. I guess the only thing we're missing is Nexus which again isn't a huge deal. So that's not terrible. Uh, let's do some more of Dragon's Lair, I think. And I don't know if I'll finish this dungeon. I'll get down near the bottom though, I think. We need to buy um, mushrooms, actually. So I shouldn't be fighting any ancient green dragons until I've bought some. Another potion of restore mana, that's good. Kill Scathe of the Worm. He's also a wanted monster, which makes it more worthwhile. So I think let's do that and let's go back to town and buy some mushrooms. Our int is already capped out, and I don't think we're ever going to 
pop in your life, so I'll leave those. Uh, let's hand in the corpse. See what we get. Scroll of crafting. Uh, I don't know if I really care about that. Drop off some of this healing and restore mana. Still only have two potions of restore mana. 22 healing. Plus we've got a staff. We're probably pretty close to being good on the amount of healing we need. But I'd like more potions of restore mana before I would want to go into killing Oberon on the serpent. Uh, let's just go back once we've bought mushrooms. That's on the mushroom shop. Uh, I can do the quest now as well. Haunted house. If it's too dangerous, we can just bail. What have we got? These guys breathe time, so I probably should have brought some sort of restoring something or other, if I have any. But I forgot about them. Looks like there's nothing too scary, I don't think. Is always good. Mm. I'll pick that up, but probably not something I'll ever wear. Spectral Tyrannosaurus does breathe Nexus for a fair bit, and I don't resist Nexus at the moment. Hopefully he just doesn't do it. Let's get our mana back before we start fighting him, then we should use Heroic Speed. Got lucky he didn't breathe Nexus. Another cure wounds. I think we can leave it at this point. And there we go, there's that quest down. And we can drop off some of those and get more mushrooms. Forever dropping mushrooms to make room for things. 
and I don't think we'll ever be doing the Royal Crypt. It's too much of a hassle. Let's go back down to Dragon's Lair. Why are these guys all awake? Another artifact, missing acid, which isn't a problem for us. Um, Nexus and shards. So what do we currently look like? We would lose sound and disenchantment, but then we'd be double resisting shards. I think I need to keep the disenchantment though. Um, we're out of the room again. Let's drop one of our devices. What's the least mana we have on a device? Looks like that wand. Big healing. Uh, I guess I'll drop the mushrooms, even though I just bought some more. Drop off that um, lot of clarity actually. Yeah, let's drop that off. We'll hang on to the great clarity and we'll drop off the healing. Um, more mushrooms. These dragons are pretty dangerous. A lot of, lot of um, sound and charge damage. Huh. We kill that guy. I think we can. Let's get rid of the Great Worm of Chaos immediately. Uh, none of this stuff is actually dangerous, so that's fine. Ah, uh, he teleported me away. easily. Ooh. I should 
shouldn't be teleporting around like this. But I really want to get that guy. Okay, got him. Grey worm of many colours, they're quite dangerous. Want to steer clear of any of those that we see. Yeah, 300 base damage, even though they're being double resisted at the moment, I think. Yeah. Looks like there's kind of a little vault thing up here. There's a bunch of dragons in it. We can go kill those guys. We want to be careful though of um, the Great Worm of Law. Reaction on um, this necklace. What are we currently getting? Base resistances. So we can't really afford to lose those. It would be nice though if we had another source of base resistances, then we could wear that necklace and wear Soul Sword because we'd then be getting free action from our amulet slot. So we'll pick that up, maybe we can shuffle it in later. And that has immunity to cold, which isn't really that great. I'll pick it up anyway. Ah, uh, maybe I won't. Uh, if I can be bothered dropping anything. Oh, uh, hang on to these. No, I don't. There's a sound breath, which did about half our health, I think. He should be less dangerous now though. Yeah, that one only did about 100 damage, I think, because he's so, he's at such low health. Yeah, I don't think I'll bother bringing um, that hammer back. These guys are quite dangerous as well. Steam powered mechanical dragon. Uh, you can't see them through telepathy, which is the most dangerous thing about them probably. If you know that they're around, it's easy to avoid them. Uh, under their at alert, they're very inattentive, so they're quite unlikely to actually wake up. But if you stumble across one unexpectedly, things can go poorly. There's no stairs around, right? Let's just make some.
we are at the bottom of Dragon Dragon's Lair now, but I don't know that I'll bother trying to kill the Guardian. From memory, it's a fairly hard one. Let's see if I can have a peek though. If I can find the Guardian somewhere. Great room of many colors is awake. Where's that? Down behind the steel dragon, so he won't be able to walk past. But oh, okay, I guess he can walk past. Let's just distract. Uh, okay. So the reason that the dungeon guardian is so difficult is that she comes with all of these other dragons, which are always awake, and it's usually a pain to get her by herself and then even if you do get her by herself she's pretty much just a beefier great worm of many colors which is already something I don't want to fight 20 speed and could two shot me with any of her breaths except for acid so I don't think I'll maybe I, I don't know If she cooperates and I can get rid of all the dragons she comes with, maybe I'll have one shot at trying to take her down, but probably won't focus on trying to kill her. Great venom worms are quite good for just leveling up on, because they're not dangerous, provided you have mushrooms. It's a good one to be carrying around though. It has a lot of mana and also has plus two to regeneration. So that's definitely worth picking up. Let's see how many of these dragons are still down here. Quite a lot. I can maybe just slowly bait over a few dragons at a time until she doesn't have any left. Looks like she's not actually coming out towards us. Where is she? Down there. We're coming out now, looks like it. And she's coming out as well. Okay, it looks like she's fast enough that she's now ahead of all of her posse that she came with. So this could be good. Looks like we've got her by herself.
Um, the other thing is that she can do that, which is bad. And also she's making us afraid even through three sources of fear resistance. Well, actually, let's see if I can teleport these guys away first. Or maybe not. Um, I guess I'd still do want to Plasma Wrath her to try and get her stunned. Hopefully she continues breathing acid like that. What can this guy do? Let's not let him breathe on us at the same turn that she does. Uh oh, is he... He's teleport immune. How far away is she? 15. Still 15? Alright, hang on. Got him. Now, don't summon anything else, please. Poison is not an issue, provided we have mushrooms. So we want her to just breathe acid and poison, hopefully. Um, pretty low, so let's phase away and eat magic. Summon more stuff, but none of this is as dangerous as those uniques she summoned. We'll still phase away to get room. Actually, I can teleport this guy away right now. Let's phase again. Heal up. And get some magic back. Uh, we can use the rod. Ooh, I'm scared. Um, let's phase. And let's dimension door actually. It's heroism. And hopefully, we become less scared. And try and get rid of this stuff as well. Looks like her breath is now a lot less dangerous. That poison only gave us 343, and her recall says that it's meant to do 525. So she's low enough now that her breaths aren't quite as dangerous, which is good. We need to get more mana back though. Come on, man. Right at the end. Looks like... no. I was hoping that she would be far enough away that the teleport other wouldn't hit her, but I think it will. Actually, wait, isn't she a mean teleport other? No, she's not. Okay. We need to get rid of the Great Worm of Many Colours. without hitting her. Okay, got him. Okay, so we actually did end up killing her, which wasn't part of the plan, but that's fine. Let's go con. I don't actually remember what she drops, because I kill her 
not very often. This, um, oh no, we're getting shards from this, shards and fear. This crossbow though has the left on it. I guess I'll pick it up just in case we somehow need to work that in. Ah, our last sorcery book. Um, two of the last sorcery Oh, I know the same one that just got shifted over here because there wasn't room on the ground for it. Let's drop book one of sorcery. So in the last sorcery book, there's not really anything I'm interested in, to be honest. Clairvoyance will light and map the whole level. But that's just a convenience more than anything. Door creation, I guess, is useful, but I always forget to use it. Um, so I don't know if I'll bother carrying around this book at all. I probably won't. But there's um, Dragon's Lair done, at least. So let's drop off that book of sorcery. Let's buy another one of book one. What else can we drop? We can drop that and that. And that's about it. I think, I think I've been playing for about an hour. So we finished off a couple more dungeons, finished off Graveyard or Soul Sword, chiefly, and Dragon's Lair. And hopefully I do find something with free action on it, either in a helmet or gloves. No, hang on, gloves. Helmet or amulet or boot slot, I think I want. Yeah, I've already got free action on the gloves. And if we find something with free action in one of those slots, or a ring slot, I guess, then we can swap out Soul Sword in place of Thorin, which I think is a bit better. But yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.